For beginners learning arc welding, if you don't have much welding foundation, I suggest you practice on this kind of dart-shaped pipeline. Sometimes when the pipes don't fit perfectly, with gaps or rough edges, after grinding them down, that's already considered pretty good. But what's it like on some real job sites? People just fit them together directly, after cutting, without grinding. That kind of joint is actually harder to weld than regular arc welding. Where's the difficulty? When you strike an arc, the electrode keeps sticking. If you hold it too long, you burn a hole. Current too high, holes. Current too low, sticking. Very high difficulty. So what do we do? I'll teach you a small trick. Break off the flux tip of the welding rod. See this? You must break it off. Otherwise, you can't weld properly. After breaking it, what you have is basically a bare steel rod. In simple terms, it works like TIG welding. The welding rod acts like filler wire, and the electrode holder is like the torch. If a hole forms or the temperature gets too high, just quickly tap it, one tap at a time. This is similar to feeding filler wire. This way, instead of constant arc striking and blowing through the joint, you can control it by tapping with filler, tapping with the rod, or tapping with wire. All of these are normal techniques. Everyone should learn this trick. I recommend practicing it. Look at my welds here. You see, weld while feeding, you can go continuous or do it in stops. Both work. This is one method. Keep in mind, once you knock off the flux from a welding rod, what's the best way to use it? For larger welds, treat it like stabbing with the rod. For smaller welds, treat it like feeding filler with the rod. Now, if you don't want to use this trick, there's another way. Just tap. Strike point by point, taking advantage of the high temperature to fill. But be careful. With basic coated, alkaline electrodes, tapping is harder because they stick more easily. That's why I suggest you practice this steady, iron foot technique. Remember, once you get on a real job site, this skill will definitely come in handy. Subscribe Weldmaster India. For more information and tricks and tips about welding,